shine out of darkness has shined in our hearts. Friend, grasp this. Listen carefully. Read carefully. By the way, this is the King James Version. For God who commanded the light to shine out of darkness, that happened in Genesis 1. That same God has shined in our hearts. Why? To give to us, to give to us the light of the knowledge. The light of the knowledge. So here's, here comes some knowledge of the glory of God. God wants us to have the knowledge of his glory. And where do we find this information? In the face of Jesus Christ. My friend, when we get close to God and we see the glory of God shining on the face of Jesus Christ, God has shined in our hearts so that we can have knowledge of that glory that's shining in the face of Jesus Christ. And then, where do we have these treasures? It's not in your bank account. It's not in your garage. It's not in your vault. It's not in your safe. It's not even buried in your backyard. We have this treasure in earthen vessels. Earthen vessels so that the excellency of the power, oh, Jesus, I feel the Holy Ghost so strong. Glory be to God Almighty. So, so that the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. Listen, you can't do this in your strength. Glory, hallelujah. I tell you what, the Holy Ghost is just, He's just right here, just jumping up and down in this chair. I'm telling you. We have this treasure in this fleshly, earthly body. That the excellence of the power is from God and not us. I can't do this in myself. I can't tell you this stuff. This comes from the power of God. I am a carnal person. I am full of flesh. I am full of problems. I am full of imperfections. But praise God, praise God. He will take my imperfections and he will use this old piece of flesh and he can do powerful things with it if we will only become obedient and become a vessel just like this. This old thing's got some cracks on it and all, some scratches. But if you will, you'll let God use you. This stuff holds water. You hold the Holy Ghost. And the God, Holy Ghost in you wants to do great and mighty works in the Lord. Not works of salvation. Works of salvation for other salvation, not your own. You've already got that. Right now, I'm sitting here reading God's word, getting excited with you. Is that a work? You decide. But I could go grab me some golf clubs and go down there somewhere or go fishing or go, go play golf. That's entertainment. I'm not doing this for my salvation. I'm doing this to encourage and admonish me while hopefully I'm encouraging and admonishing you because as long as I stick to God's word, both of us will be admonished. And so the Holy Ghost just said, some people are probably going to say, why are you shouting? I ain't shouting. I'm not yelling. I am getting excited though. Let's continue. But we have this treasure in earthen vessels that the excellency of the power may be of God and not us. You see, friend, up to this point, the whole point of this series, God's word illuminated, is to help you 
read it along with me, get excited with me, and illuminate in your heart, in your mind, in your soul, and in your strength what God's Word wants to do to you. There's not been one time that anyone touched Jesus in faith or Jesus touched them in faith that they wasn't changed. And I am telling you right now, if you will take God's word and you will reach out in faith through the Holy Ghost, 